Techno, welcome back. Uh, my name is Patrick Cook. Uh, we are in the process of uh, moving through the Mandelbaum 3D software uh, in this uh, uh, tutorial series. Uh, you know, uh, in the, the, the last session, uh, when I was just uh, kind of looking over the recording, I realized that uh, my headshot uh, was uh, a, a little bit too late. Uh, we, here in Connecticut, we've just had like three days of uh, rain and clouds, and and uh, I haven't seen any sun here for a little while anyway. But uh, I'm over here in, in my uh, my office and, and recording, uh, and I'm over by a, a, a window, and it's starting to clear up. So I didn't realize it, but but I'm having more light come into my office. So I made some adjust adjustments to my camera. So uh, hopefully that's, uh, that's improved. Uh, in the last session, we were talking about this no eyeball, no interpolation. And as you saw, what it does is it, is it eliminates uh, the, the, uh, uh, the gradient uh, the change from one color to the next and makes it a hard change. So that's what we talked about last time. Now, in this session, I want to talk about this color cycling and choice. So if I click that on, all right, and we take a look at our, uh, our, our scene, we see here that I've actually turned on a color cycling. Let's turn it off again. On, off, on, off, on. Okay. So what this is doing is it is enabling a function where the colors will be cycled through the scene. So this entire band here will cycle multiple times throughout the scene. If when it's checked off, the the color band, all right, from the from the start color to the end color, will happen across the entire z-axis of the. Uh... Somebody is trying to message me here. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, see what we can do about that. All right, there we go. Okay, silence is golden. So um, with this checked off, my colors from start to end will cycle across the whole z-axis. With this color cycling turned on. All right, the, the this whole band will repeat uh, across the depth of the scene. Uh, now that's that's very interesting. Okay, let's check on the choice. All right, uh, so uh, what that allows me to do is to choose. All right, to choose and uh, to choose uh, the. Uh, uh, the the band uh, and that is has relationship down here on this uh, color start and color end all right now what I want to warn you about is that this color cycling here is not good for animation not good for animation perfectly fine for a still but this anime this color cycling thing will get you in trouble with animation and the reason for that is if i were to navigate in this scene with this color cycling enabled all right uh, okay uh what will happen is as i navigate through that scene now Color has a relationship to the z-axis in the Mandelbalm 3D environment. So if I'm moving through that scene, obviously 
my I, I, my my z-axis my camera is moving along as when it moves along a z-axis if it moves x and y or if it moves y or x all right it's this is not it's not a big deal but when the camera is moving across a z-axis the coloring is also moving across the z-axis and so you have like a ripple effect that occurs when your camera is moving across a z-axis with the color cycling turned on you have a uh, you have a color rippling effect now uh well, let's see if we can uh let's see if we can do that let's uh turn on the navigator here turn this window off all right let's see um let's uh let's move forward here push that to main calculate yeah okay you had to sort of use your memory here to to remember what the colors look like but but the, my green has basically let's see all right so my green is right about here let's move forward again View to main, calculate. Green's right in here. Yeah, okay, see the green moved. You see? See the green, it moved. So with this color cycling on, and here's the point. With this color cycling on, if you animate a scene and your camera does any type of Z-axis movement that is away from or relative to the, the camera, axis your 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 color bands will move around now if you animate at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second all of a sudden you've got this jittering this color jittering that's going on the colors do not animate smoothly with this color cycling thing turned on perfectly fine if you want to make a still but this color cycling thing here will uh will uh will cause an artifact within your animation that can't be corrected out uh, i mean you know it's it's baked it's baked in to your animation all right so as your camera moves across the the x axis all right you'll have these you'll have these color bands that will that will jitter uh, all the way across your entire scene uh the z-axis and the depth of the scene if you're moving your camera nicely across uh ideally across the the x or the y or on the y but you're not moving on the z-axis really no effect it's, it's fine i mean i could almost prove that by I don't know moving across the, the still here let's see if uh, uh i just did a slide right oh yeah yeah all right so i i'm wrong well i'm not really wrong because the uh the the the, the this the slide left that i did may have actually slid not just i absolutely uh perfectly in relation to the x-axis it could have actually have moved on the z-axis as well relative to the fractal object so uh just make the assumption that when the color cycling is turned on in an animation uh your coloring uh the the animation will create a color um um anomaly that will that will be uh that will be a, a flickering a jumping of the color bands uh that you won't be able to correct in your video editing software uh but for stills the color banding is perfectly fine use it all right.
little tidbit there from uh, some practical experience. All right, I think we have covered everything that we need to talk about here in the object panel. Object panel. All right, when we come back, I'm going to talk a little bit more about some ambient controls. This is a little bit more advanced. And so we'll talk about that. And uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to reopen. I'm going to throw away all this stuff here. I'm going to reopen where I had left off. All right, back here. And I basically have restored us back to several sessions ago. Uh, because I want to get back over here and talk about uh, some ambient controls. And we certainly don't need all those wild, crazy colors. Now, let me just say this, that part of the building this animation, I want to get to a point where we have the colors that we want. So we're not done with our, uh, with our building our animation. We just waylaid off to talk about these other color controls. So next session, we're going to talk about a couple additional ambient uh, uh, controls on the ambient tab. I'll see you there.